So next we click next. Here in the Acropolis OS, it will ask you to choose the Acropolis OS version that you have. So if you remember when we download and put this Nutanix installer package in the folder specific for the installation of the Acropolis, you see the name right here. If you have multiple version, you can see them from the list above in the Acropolis installer. Then if you want to manage Acropolis file, that means you want to upload a new one through the installation, you can simply click on Manage Acropolis OS and it will lead you to add a new Acropolis version by uploading directly through the installation or from another place that exists in your desktop. So right here you select the one that you want and click Add and he will add it to the installation process. Then the hypervisor it will ask you to choose between the different hypervisor for example ehv he automatically detects that he have an ehv installation available in the environment in the foundation vm you choose the one that you want if you chose for example the asxi he will detect if there are an asxi iso image available in the folder he will use it if not he will ask you to add it then Next, we'll ask you for the username and the password for every EP management interface. So right here is the same step. You can choose the default password or you can leave it empty if your node does not have any password. So we click next. He will start checking the EP conflict if you have any conflict in your network. Then if every tank is OK for the different EP address, he will try to connect to the different node by using the username and password and we'll start the installation like this one. So right here you see the installation in progress. He will connect to the different EP management interface. He will start the installation by giving the hypervisor the EP address of the host EP and when he creates the CVM he will give it the EP from the list right here. So the installation will take about 20 to 30 minutes about the speed and the hardware speed in your environment. So creating your CVM and the installation completes successfully. Then he creates the cluster. That is it. And you see that we have your cluster is ready. Click here to access to it by using the virtual IP address. So if we click on click here, it will take you to the virtual ap that we use to let us to connect to the cluster so right here it will ask you for the certificate you can pass this certificate so this is the first interface of prism that you will need to connect to it so the first time you need to use the username admin and the password notanix slash for you as the same as we see in the preview then it will ask you to get a new password to your environment so we give it a new password a previous password we confirm the same password again and we press enter it will get a new password for your environment that is it so your password has changed it successfully now you need to use admin and the new password that you created to be able to connect to your environment so here is it now it will ask you for the name the company the job title etc and you need to accept the license so i have read and accept the license I click accept and he will ask you to enable or disable the pulse that means it will lead you to connect to the support or send any problem to the support if you don't want to let your environment send report to the Nutanix support, you can disable the pulse and it will not allow you to send any information about your environment to the Nutanix support. So next, now you see this is the interface of your Prism element to manage your cluster. So next we'll see more details about the Nutanix cluster. See you in the next lecture.